SMIC is one of the leading semiconductor players in China. SMIC is taking on big names like TSMC, Samsung, and Intel in the chip technology race. Founded by Richard Chang, SMIC quickly made a name for itself in China's growing semiconductor industry. SMIC was established in January 2000 by Richard Chang, who was born in Nanjing. His family fled to Taiwan with many other ethnic Chinese migrants led by Chiang Kai-shek. These migrants, known as Wai Xingren, had strong ties to mainland China. Many, feeling out of place in Taiwan, moved to other countries, including the US. Chang was among them. After graduating from National Taiwan University, Richard Chang earned a master's degree from University at Buffalo. He and his wife then worked at Texas Instruments in Dallas, where Chang managed foundry operations in East Asia. Chang retired from Texas Instruments in 1997 and returned to Taiwan, starting his own foundry, Worldwide Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation, which he sold to TSMC in 2000. He then set his sights on China, attracted by its low cost. With $1.6 billion from Goldman Sachs and other investors, Chang launched SMIC. He soon faced tough competition from Grace Semiconductor, founded by political figures Winston Wang and Zhang Mianheng. Zhang Mianheng is the son of the former Chinese leader Zhang Zemin. SMIC had to work hard to stand out. Despite being a new player, Chang and his team were experienced and efficient, outpacing Grace Semiconductor. While Grace struggled to start production, SMIC quickly set up two factories in Shanghai and planned an IPO. With support from the Chinese government, SMIC grew rapidly, securing subsidies and cheap loans. By 2004, just four years after its founding, SMIC had become the fourth largest foundry in the industry. Running a foundry is like managing a top sports team. SMIC needed huge expensive facilities and a talented workforce. They managed this by securing financing from local Chinese governments. Unable to get bank loans, SMIC turned to local governments, which financed the construction of fabs. In return, these governments received fees and the chance to develop a semiconductor hub. In 2005, SMIC operated two factories in Shanghai. By the next year, they had started new foundries in Chengdu and Wuhan, thanks to joint ventures worth $1.5 to $3 billion each. SMIC and Grace both recruited talent from abroad, including former TSMC and UM. See employees, offering stock options as incentives. Some key TSMC engineers were offered 80,000 shares. Many engineers joined SMIC not just for financial reasons but also to contribute to China's growth. Nearly 40% of SMIC's founding engineers were Chinese returning from overseas. In 2003, TSMC sued SMIC for stealing trade secrets. SMIC's quick advancement in technology raised suspicions. The lawsuit dragged on for six years, with TSMC eventually winning and taking a 10% stake in SMIC. After the lawsuit, Richard Chang resigned in 2009. SMIC faced financial struggles, running on subsidies and loans without consistent profits. In 2010, new CEO Tsu Yin Chu focused on stabilizing the company and achieving profitability. Liang Meng Song, known for his move from TSMC to Samsung, joined SMIC and led a team to develop the 7 nanometer process node. Reports suggest they are nearing high volume production, marking a significant comeback for SMIC. SMIC remains China's top foundry. Its recent billion-dollar IP O on the Hong Kong and Shanghai markets confirms the Chinese government's commitment to building a strong domestic semiconductor industry. SMIC is set to play a key role in this effort. As SMIC continues to advance and secure funding, the big question is, can it surpass TSMC and Samsung soon? Time will tell, but SMIC is a strong contender in the semiconductor world. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the content, Please do not forget to subscribe the channel so that I can make more content like this in the future.